An Azali Persian, Azlian or Azali Babi is a follower of the monotheistic religion of Subai Azal and the Bab. Early followers of the Bab were known as Babis, however, in the 1860s a split occurred after which the vast majority of Babis followed Mirza Hussain Ali, known as Baha'u'llah, and became known as Baha'is, while the minority who followed Subai Azal came to be called Azalis. Current estimates are that there are no more than a few thousand. Distinguishing characteristics Azalis do not accept any who advanced claims to be the Bab's promised one, him whom God shall make manifest. The most bitterly contested claim is that of Baha'u'llah in 1863. Azalis rejected the divine claims of Baha'u'llah, arguing that the world must first accept the laws of the Bab before, he whom God shall make manifest, can appear. Involvement in Persian secular and constitutional reform With respect to the direction that Azali Babism took immediately after the split, Maswan notes, Azali Babism represents the conservative core of the original Babi movement, opposed to innovation and preaching a religion for a non-clerical Gnostic elite rather than the masses. It also retains the original Babi antagonism to the Qajar state and a commitment to political activism, in distinction to the quietist stance of Bayism Paradoxically, Azali conservatism in religious matters seems to have provided a matrix within which radical social and political ideas could be propounded. After the split with the Baha'is, some Azalis were very active in secular reform movements and the Iranian Constitutional Revolution 1905 including Sheikh Ahmad Ruhi Kermani and Mirza Abd al hossein Kermani. However, the community was still suppressed as a heresy and the accusation of being an Azali was often enough for most to believe it to be true. Coupled with the Azali practice of tachia dissimulation determining whether or not a particular figure in Persian politics was an Azali is difficult. Tachia Tachia dissimulation was practiced by some Babis. It was justified by some as a response to the often violent oppression the community faced. However, prominent Babi leaders never encouraged individuals to practice it, and some who had practiced Tachia later abandoned it, declared themselves openly, and were put to death. Among Azalis, however, the practice became ingrained and widespread. One historian has noted The Azali Babis, and in particular Mirza Aqa Khan Kermani and Sheikh Ahmad Ruhi, showed little hesitation in alteration and falsification of Babi teachings and history in their works. Azali Babis regarded Tachia as an imperative requirement. In contrast the Azali Babis glorified Tachia in their literature. Tachia was considered a virtue and classified into various levels of concealment. Prominent Azali leaders openly recanted their faith and even abused the Bab and Azal in the process. <laughs> Succession and aftermath There was some dispute on the question over who was Subai Azal's appointed successor. Maswan states that Subai Azal appointed Yahya Dalatabadi as his successor in turn after the death of his Yahya's father, Mirza Hadi Dalatabadi. However, this was disputed by Subai Azal's grandson, Jalal Azal, indicating that this question was not entirely resolved. Maswan notes that, in any event, neither he Yahya Dalatabadi nor anyone else arose to organize the affairs of the community, or produce significant writing to develop the religion. He goes on to say, writing in 1999, with the deaths of those Azalis who were active in the constitutional period, Azali Babism entered a phase of stagnation from which it has never recovered. There is now no acknowledged leader nor, to the knowledge of the present writer, any central organization. Members tend to be secretive about their affiliation, converts are rare, and association appears to run along family lines. It is difficult to estimate current numbers, but these are unlikely to exceed one or two thousand, almost all of whom reside in Iran. See also Babism Baha'i, Babi split Notes <laughs> <laughs>